Messi is leaving PSG for Inter Miami. It was no secret that Lionel Messi's exit from PSG was imminent, and it was confirmed by Christophe Galtier just two years after the seven-time Ballon d'Or winner signed for the late Parisians. It was looking like he would go to Saudi Arabia, but apparently Inter Miami has come to an agreement and personal terms are being ironed out. But before we can talk about where the Argentine star is going next, we must look at what went wrong at PSG. Let's start at his former club, Barcelona. Messi had been at the club for 21 years, becoming their all-time goalscorer with 682 strikes. And boy was he incredible. The dribbles, the free kicks, the assists. The man was unstoppable. In 2021, Barcelona released a bombshell statement stating he would not be staying at the club due to financial restrictions levied by La Liga amid their crippling debts. Messi was devastated and the fans were devastated, but the split ultimately had to happen. It didn't take long for the Paris Saint-Germain fans to turn on Messi shortly after he arrived at the club. The French giants have had a plethora of top players throughout the years from Ronaldinho, Zlatan and Cavani, who all outperformed and sealed legendary status in their city. And with a new trio of Messi, Mbappe and Neymar, they had hoped for at least far more from the GOAT. The fans hoped Messi would find the back of the net more than seven times in the first four months. They were also frustrated by his lack of assists, only notching four in the same time period. It was widely reported that the main factor behind Messi's arrival at PSG was to help the club achieve their ultimate dream of winning the Champions League, having lost in the final in 2019-20 and reached the semi-finals in 2020-21. However, Karim Benzema's stunning hat-trick knocked PSG out of the tournament in 2022. Having Messi in the team didn't help with their run this season. This time it was Eric Maxim Chupo Moting who helped knock his former club out of the European competition as Bayern Munich sealed a dominant victory. The fans were furious with PSG's Champions League performance and placed the blame on Messi for struggling to get them over the line. Messi's name was read out and shown on the screen before their clash with Rend in March, and the fans took their opportunity to boo the 35 year old. Messi skipped PSG training and jetted off to Saudi Arabia as part of his role as a tourism ambassador of Saudi Arabia, a move that was not approved by his manager, putting a strain on their relationship. He then took another trip to Saudi, right after PSG's embarrassing loss to Lorient. The French club announced that players needed to train on the Monday before being given the Tuesday off. Messi was MIA yet again. Messi was handed a two-week suspension and issued an apology to the club. I thought we were going to have a day off after the game as always. I had this trip organised and I couldn't cancel it. I had already cancelled it before. I apologise to my teammates and I'm waiting for what the club wants to do with me. Messi is viewed as this invincible player who used to play a full season injury free throughout his 21-year career at Barcelona. Unfortunately for PSG, he picked up more injuries than they would have liked. Messi missed several games during the 2021-2022 and 2022-2023 campaigns due to calf problems. This not only kept him out of the game, but affected his performances when he returned. 
Messi never connected with Paris Saint-Germain in the same way he did with Barcelona. It always seemed like he was looking back at his former team, missing Barca too much, and it was clearly evident with his performances and his unwillingness to warm up to the fans who returned the same lukewarm embrace back. Such a frosty relationship. Messi has always been the star and was treated like one during his time at Barcelona. Coming to Paris, it was always going to be difficult, as Mbappe was a younger and frankly better version at his age, having already established himself as the main man even Neymar couldn't dethrone the French superstar. Messi started fewer games during his time at Paris Saint-Germain and played less minutes. During his final season at Barcelona, he started 45 games compared to the 32 he was afforded in his first season in Paris. Mbappe has been consistently outperforming Messi in front of goal. Mbappe featured 42 times compared to Messi's 40 games this season and scored 40 goals while Messi netted 21 goals. Whether a performance is good or not shouldn't be decided on stats alone and Messi had his fair share of world-class moments, not least a memorable goal against Man City in the Champions League. Messi had captured the one trophy that had eluded him for 20 years, the World Cup for Argentina in Qatar. The Argentine took two weeks off to celebrate. Meanwhile, Mbappe, having lost to Messi in the final, was right back into PSG training without rest. The optics weren't good for Messi. There was a star player basking in his career's greatest achievement, lying on a beach on the other side of the world. Meanwhile, the local kid was already getting back to work. Mbappe spent the month of January playing hero for PSG, while Messi was near invisible. Perhaps Messi didn't care once he lifted the World Cup. Messi is getting old. He was 34 when PSG signed him and had needed protecting by Barcelona for a couple of years before he moved to France. PSG knew they were getting a player that couldn't run relentlessly for 90 minutes. We need to understand everyone peaks differently and performs differently in instances and clubs. While Messi is a one-club player, Ronaldo is different and that works for both. What a way to continue the legacy of two great goats of the game getting paid and finishing off their careers in grace and hopefully growing the sport to wider audiences. It's the time for the new kids now to try and live up to the expectations of Messi. Thank you guys for reaching the end of the video. It would mean a lot if you smash the like and subscribe buttons. This would massively help the channel reach a wider audience of football lovers. Till next time, we eat, sleep and watch the beautiful game.